Kylian Mbappe or Erling Haaland, there's really no wrong answer when it comes to the prolific young duo. Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe have played fewer than two matches on the same pitch. The young forwards have seen the field together for a total of just 116 minutes, yet a few years into their respective professional careers, the two are immensely connected and one seldomly mentioned without the other. Both blossoming and both electric, the pair's penchant for appearing in the beat is growing early, reminiscent of that of a certain old attacking duo, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. So, how does one decipher the argument between these two rising superstars? Well, we'll start with Erling Haaland, the 20-year-old Borussia Dortmund centre forward next to no striker in the relative recent history of reliable soccer statistics, has recorded at the age of 20 the quality of Haaland's season since the Brazilian great Ronaldo Nazario. Playing at Inter Milan in 1997, he scored 31 goals in all competitions for the Italian giant. A year after, he scored 34 goals for FC Barcelona. So, one begins wondering what about the great Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. We'll get to that later, so just watch on and enjoy. And so, compared to Ronaldo Nazario's 34 goals at the age of 20, Erling Haaland has 31 goals in all competitions already, with 9 more Bundesliga match weeks and at least 3 more domestic international cup appearances remaining. He'll just turn 21 come July. Haaland's exquisite finishing has shown brightest in the UEFA Champions League. He has the most goals in the competition, despite missing out on 2 of the games in the group stages. Haaland recently became the fastest player to reach 20 goals in the competition, doing so in merely 14 matches, a competition that has been dominated by the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi for years may just have its new face. So, compared with counterparts at Europe's biggest club, Haaland hasn't done much in the build-up or defensively. He's completed just 440 passes this season, compared to Robert Lewandowski's 716 or Hurricane's 746. He isn't prolific in his creation for others or his work on the ball. Instead, he takes on the responsibilities behind the ball. Haaland is as pure as a target man as they come. Even so, next to nobody has been able to equal his production in the spot. Even Cristiano Ronaldo, the eternal abnormally hasn't matched Haaland's scoring numbers. The Norwegian wonder boy is simply as hot as a finisher as they might be right now in the world. So, if Haaland's game is a lead role in a symphony, then the 22-year-old Kylian Mbappe is a one-man band. The Frenchman has been deployed at centre forward on both wings and as part of a two-striker system. It doesn't seem to matter where he plays. He produces goals and creates chances as well. And so, that said, most of his appearances under new manager Mauricio Pochettino have been on the left flank. So, for the sake of this exercise, let's compare Kylian Mbappe to some of Europe's top crop wingers. As it is with Erling Haaland, it is hard to compare Kylian Mbappe's greatness to just about anyone. For instance, a young Lionel Messi scored 15 goals and recorded 3 assists at his age 19. Mbappe scored 39 goals and provided 15 assists and wrote to winning League One Best Player of the Year way back in 2019. While Erling Haaland is no slow puck, Kylian Mbappe has made headlines with his blazing speed, clocking in at 22.4 miles per hour multiple times in the last year. But he is not just a burner without skills on the ball. Mbappe's 9.36 progressive carries per 90 minutes are 93rd percentiles of all attacking midfielders and wingers according to fbref.com. He produces chances for others on par with the Elite 2. His 4.3 shots creating actions per 90 minutes are more than Ronaldo, Mohamed Salah, Raheem Sterling and Sadio Mane. Mbappe's only issue in the midst of an otherwise superb season has been his finishing. While most other top forwards have scored more than their average, Kylian Mbappe has managed 17 non-penalty goals in the League One and the Champions League play, compared to an 18.1 average he usually does. But if you think about this as a problem, then you may have to consult FC Barcelona. So finally, this comes down to a simple question, which is more valuable. A finishing machine who scores more goals than he should, or a plug and play speed star that can create from anywhere on the field. Alright, so guys, you just watch this video till the end, then you should know the difference now between Kylian Mbappe and Erling Brood Haaland. 
which of this player is your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Football TV, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bells so you don't miss out on all our upcoming amazing, amazing videos. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to Football TV. Bye bye. Das ganze Land. Ha, ha.